Hi, I'm Crompwell, and today we're going to look at debugging Meshroom in case we run into any issues with it. So here I have our soldier project that I've featured before, and I've kind of cleaned it out to its base state so that there's nothing in it. So this is more or less just a new iteration of Meshroom, and I'm going to grab the photos that I want to use and just drag them into our file here. And Assuming that these photos are exactly what we want them to be and they're of the right quality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start. And you'll notice that it starts up the bar that shows the progress and immediately I get an error with a red area here. So we can zoom in here and see that our camera initialization is what failed us. And in order to get a better idea of what's happened, we should open up the command prompt here that allows us to see what kind of error we have. So this is the nice thing about Meshroom is that it will actually report for us inside of the command prompt and we can see exactly what has failed and what's going wrong. <clears throat> so if you take a look at these errors here, we can see that Meshroom is saying that the sensor width doesn't exist in the database for the following image, which is the first image here, or one of the images here, I should say, not necessarily the first, it's this one, I believe. And so it's asking us to please add the camera model and sensor width in the database. Now this is an error that is pretty infrequent, but I did want to create a video dedicated to it because I hadn't seen this taken care of anywhere else. So I'm going to show you what to do in the case and event that this happens to you. Now the file that we need to add this information into is our sensor database, which is the database that's being referenced here. And so the path for that file is right here. I'm going to select all of that and I'm not going to copy the actual file name. I'm just going to stop short of it and hit Command C or Control C. I'm going to open up another instance of my Explorer on the side, and I'll bring this out over here so you can see it. And so we have all our photos here. If I just click into the top here and paste this path, and I hit Enter, you'll see that it brings us to the folder where our camera sensors.db is hiding. So I can right click on that and say, Open with Notepad. And this is a, a nice file because you can open it up with any text editor, really. And you'll see inside here we have all sorts of profiles for very many common um, cameras. And essentially what's happening is we have the brand, the camera make, and then the data that Meshroom needs in order to process photos that come out of that camera. So if we kind of move this to the left side and get our command prompt on the right side, we can see that we need to add the brand and the camera model along with whatever the sensor width for that is. So we're looking for the Canon EOS 80D, which is the Canon camera that I use to shoot these photos. And I think I'm gonna place this entry here. Really, you can append it to any part of this file, but I like to stay organized. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to start entering that data here. EOS, whoops, EOS 80D. Make sure that you're actually using the data here. You can even copy this and paste it if you need to. And then we're going to put the semicolon there and we're going to look up exactly what that sensor is. So I'm going to go to Google. and I'm just going to type in Canon EOS 80D sensor size. And once that pops up, I can show you what it is here. We can see that the sensor dimensions are 22.5 by 15 millimeters. So we want that 22.5. I'm going to copy that and close this out. And then we're going to find our entry right here. Just paste that in. It's, it happens to be the same as the 70D. We're just going to save this and close out of it. Make sure you minimize this window here. Do not close this, otherwise Meshroom will close. And then go back into Meshroom and hit start. And before you know it, we should be off to the races. So I'll just let it do its thing. It might take a moment. Unless it's returning another error, perhaps I put in a typo. Well, it doesn't seem like it. So I'll hit start, stop. Seems like it's taking a second to update. Or it might not like that I had updated that uh, file while it was in the middle of trying to do this. So you might have to relaunch it. In fact, let me do that really quickly just to uh, save ourselves some headache. Yep, so we'll close it down, cancel that out. 
give it a second to crash, and then I'll double click and reopen Meshroom, the same exe that was in the folder. There we go. And I'm just going to open up the soldier. And it doesn't look like it brought all our images back, so I'll just drag this back in there. And there we go. And I'll hit start. And you can see now we're actually getting progress. We've made it past our camera initialization. And now this will go through the process of filling out all these nodes and creating our object. And I'll let it continue to do that. But I would like to make a note that if you run into any other errors, it will return those values inside of this window. And you can also make a note. Whoops. You can also make a note of the amount of time that's elapsed for each part. So for example, camera in it only took less than even a second. So um, it was about half a second, I believe. And the rest of these will start to log as it goes through all of these processes. And so if you run into any errors, you can see how much time has elapsed, exactly what sort of error is happening. And then you might be able to copy and paste some of this data and Google it and do some kind of troubleshooting on your own. Of course, for my students, feel free to approach me and ask me about it, and I'll do everything I can in order to help. Uh, just bear in mind that Meshroom is kind of undocumented in its current state, so it might be difficult to do some um, troubleshooting. But in all honesty, I have never run into any other issues other than um, some driver errors that were causing the depth map, so this section over here, to kind of lag and quit sometimes. And all that requires is persistence to push through that and it eventually ends up completing with no problem. And then the other thing that I've had issues with, the only other thing that I've had issues with, is the sensor database um, values that we're missing that we just updated ourselves. So no problem there. All right, so I hope that helps give you a good understanding of how we might go about debugging any issues that we run into in Meshroom. Um, that's something I haven't seen in any videos yet. And uh, yeah, let me know if you run into anything, and I hope that you don't. I hope that everything goes swimmingly, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.